The story of driving down Highway 54 on a road trip in the southwest states. So I was in uh, Texas and then came across this, this incredible kind of surreal shower, which was almost kind of, it just like, it drew everybody in. Everybody in the car was just like, what is that? Um, and luckily I had the presence of mind to just think, I'll, I'll just film it. I'll. So I just kind of put it together and then I thought, well, it needs a, another sort of spontaneous reaction to it. And so my friend Liberty, who I've played music with for years, I just said, look, come over and I'll show you this, this video. And literally she came in, she looked at it for two minutes, went, yep, okay. Um, and then I ended up just picking up my laptop and putting it on the couch. And then we went into the lounge room and we set up some, we had some recording equipment and just with guitar and drums, we just played this one-off spontaneous 17 minute version. The orange room, which is the same color as my lounge room, which is where the work was shot. So it's, um, it's the, it's like a, well, it's that complex sort of uh, dynamic of your personal and your public self. And because I'm sort of outward, but then I'm quite inward as well. And so, yeah, that I find that work actually quite, even looking at it here, it's like, whoa, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to, to look at. It's quite confronting, personally confronting to see yourself. Um, so, yeah, so that, yeah, basically that work is, yeah, it's made in the privacy of my own home, which is a very safe space, obviously, but then I'm contradicting all of that by then sending it out into the world. So I went to this boneyard and I made it kind of like a durational performance. So I drummed as many planes as I could in four hours. So I was allowed to be there for four hours and I just drummed all these planes, all these planes, all these planes. But then that plane, that was at the end of the day and we managed to get when the sun just fell out of the sky. So there's this, I think it goes for about, it's like 11 and a half, 11 to 12 minutes long. And yeah, the sun literally like fell out of the sky while I was drumming what was a naturally lengthed little composition and so it kind of goes from light to dark and the wind was really crazy and it just felt like at those moments I just like totally like in my skin and in the flow and yeah it was a pretty wild experience out there and the light and just everything really so anyway yeah that's that's ghost class Come Together um, right now is a film that I made in New York City, which I shot in, I think it was around 2006. And I guess I was traveling with my Super 8 camera with me. And I did know that it was John Lennon's birthday, but I didn't know what to expect, I guess. So I went up to Central Park to Strawberry Fields, which is the area that was set up by uh, John Lennon's wife, Yoko. It was really beautiful. People were just in there and, you know, it was, it was sad, but it was uplifting and it would have been his 66th birthday. I guess New Yorkers, that's something that New Yorkers do well is they, when somebody dies, you know about it, you know? You'll either see like someone spray their name up on a wall or there's an immediate gathering in a park downtown or there's a gathering somewhere else. Or... So they do just sort of do ritual. And so it was quite a, a beautiful thing just sort of coming across everybody singing. Of making it in the very sort of early weeks of this year, and my mum died at the end of September. And it was a saying that, she didn't say it a lot, but I was thinking of an artwork at one point and I would talk to her about it. She was very good at talking to her about all these things and tell me whether my ideas were like, yeah, or good, or yeah, that could work. Um, she was an artist as well. And 
it really summed up the feeling that I was, you know, my personal grief, which is large, even though I'm sort of functioning with this kind of remote brain at the moment, but also the whole sort of, you know, I'm from Sydney and the environment was just going, like, I mean, it's been going like that for a while, but everything was on fire and Sydney was full of smoke and friends were losing houses and almost losing houses and there was a lot of anger and fear and so it was all joining up with my personal grief and I just thought, Holus bolus means all at once. I've been saying it's like my my response to the extreme present.